there are a few chairmen here, I can see. Chairman of the Board of Trustees has spoken, and uh, I recognize you, sir. And uh, the ambassadors here, our real father. Having heard the presentation of the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Trust, the Lit Trust Group, there's hardly much more for me to say, but I had to prepare a small talk because I saw the program that the chairman will say something. Much of the talking will be done first by the by the um, the um, video clips. We are going to hear from the the major four of the, four frontline presidential candidates, and then the very highly um, competent panel of uh, discussions that we shall listen to later. I want to greet especially our children, the students that are sitting behind there. Don't worry, my children, there is future for you. <laughs> oh, may I please remark that, uh, Mr. Chairman, I have not retired from the Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still very much involved. <laughs> uh, I retired, I'm retired, I retired as Archbishop of Abuja, which means I'm no longer responsible now for the affairs of the Catholic Church in Abuja Archdiocese. But I am still an Archbishop and I'm even a Cardinal. And as a Cardinal, I'm still involved in the affairs of the Catholic Church on the world level which takes me to Rome every now and again. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity to clarify it. <laughs> I'm sure in my mind that the major issue in the minds right now of most Nigerians, not just those of us here, of most Nigerians at home and abroad is the forthcoming February, March 2023 general elections. And the key issue is whether this election will bring about a meaningful change for the better for our nation. Change, but change for the better. A relatively small group of professional political elite have been running the affairs of the nation, mainly freely between two major political parties with no specific ideological identity but mainly structures for capturing power for rather selfish personal and group interests. If things are to change for the better, it cannot be business as usual. There is need for a drastic change of orientation, especially in the concept and practice of political power, characterized by politics as sincere and honest service of the common good, and not as ways and means of capturing power for self-interest. Such a change will come from two by no means mutually exclusive directions. One, a total change of heart by our professional political elite. Some say you need a miracle for that to happen. But as a man of God, I believe in miracles. And I'm praying that it will happen. The second direction, a new group of concerned elite citizens ready to drive the new agenda of politics for service and ready also to pay the cost of involvement. Will the forthcoming elections bring this about? That is the question to interrogate. Can we hope that the 2023 elections 
will not be business as usual, an attitude that has not been moving the nation any way forward. Truly free, fair, and credible elections, that is the only way from which will emerge at all levels of government, men and women, ready to serve the nation with dedication, sincerity, honesty, and integrity. We are witnessing a great change already in the heightened number of citizens now interested in the election. INEC is talking of almost a hundred million registered voters, more than in previous elections. This is a clear and positive sign that many Nigerians have abandoned our traditional widespread voter apathy, trusting that involvement in election will no longer be a waste of time for the ordinary citizens. Can we expect these millions of new voters to insist on a free and fair election and reject and refuse to settle for any rigged elections and do that peacefully, without violence, but with determination? Let our usual professional rigors across all parties, both within and outside of government, be put on strong notice that this time around it will not be business as usual. This is not a threat, rather it is a sincere warning. And let those who have ears please listen. Thank you very much.